a fight that only five years ago would have sounded like a fairy tale story. Oh man, I can't wait for the night of the 20th. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. On one side, we have the YouTube sensation turned professional boxer, Jake Paul, who despite not being such a skillful boxer, can definitely end a fight with one punch. Oh, there's a good oh. one! And that drops Woodley! And on the other side, we have none other than the legendary Iron Mike Tyson, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, whose name alone strikes fear into the hearts of his opponents. It's a showdown for the ages, as these two powerhouses step into the ring to settle the score once and for all. Will the old era prevail, or are we officially in a new era in boxing? To understand how we came to today's fight, we have to take a look back at both fighters' early days. Raised in the tough neighborhoods of Brooklyn, Tyson found himself in and out of trouble with the law from a young age. However, everything changed when Tyson was introduced to boxing at the age of 12. Under the guidance of legendary trainer Cus D'Amato, Tyson quickly honed his natural talent and raw power. In 1986, at just 20 years old, Tyson made history by becoming the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. This victory is often marked as the beginning of Tyson's reign as the undisputed king of the heavyweight division. It is important to note that by this time, Jake Paul was not even born. Paul believes that he has the ability to outbox and even stop Tyson on July 20th. For Jake to do such a thing, he must understand Tyson's tactics, and who better to break it down than the man who did that twice. I don't know how much confidence that Jake Paul have in all this, but you know, he gonna be a lot quicker. And, and if, if, if he stay close to Mike, if he stay close to Mike, then, then, then his chance of winning going to be great. But he, he trying to stay back from Mike. He going he gonna to get caught. Evander Holyfield was always believed to be the one that could outbox Mike Tyson. And when they finally fought in 1996, it showed. Garcia fought last year in which Garcia died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, a nice clean right hand, a straight punch, which he normally doesn't throw a lot of. And he's got to settle down into regular fighting. His early brawling tactics. He's settling this down to more of what he wants. A sort of boxing match. Rather than just these big slugging. Holyfield comes back with a left hook. Holyfield in his early brawling tactics. He's able to do it. It might be something different. Holyfield continued, obviously becoming more confident as the fight went on. While Tyson wins a couple of exchanges, it is all Holyfield. My honeymoon in November 8th. It's of round number three. As Holyfield looks to counterpunch off the swinging miss. Does Evander Holyfield start to wear out as he does in all fights? If that's the case, that may be the only chance. It's a real scorcher. A heavyweight fight for the first time in a long time. Right hook followed by a left by Holyfield and countering for the combination is Mike Tyson. That left hook with him. That wrestling is tiring. And stamina an issue as well in terms of Holyfield. That left hook. After being caught off guard by a barrage of punches from Holyfield, Tyson charges forward headlessly, only to be dealt a severe surprise. Like a champion, like the overachieving warrior that he is. Ferocious. Punches here by Mike Tyson. Left uppercut that sent Holyfield backpedaling. Far and from some, and then some. Far from it. He's fighting with the confidence of a man that knows he's got the guy beat. Done. If Andrew's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused, frustrated. He unleashed a flurry there, but Holyfield comes right back and counters to the head. It's Mike shot and fires back. He rock and rolls with his right hand. There you see him again trying to rock and roll. Mike's got to throw the second, and third punch in combat. I have him ahead by so much. I have Evander ahead by so much that it's getting to the point where he, either he gets a knockout or he even wins. He may look tired, but Tyson doesn't look like a ball of energy either. But also remember the heart of Evander Holyfield. It looks like that every time we get close, he can't fight inside with Mike. I don't think anybody can. Holyfield kicking to the body with a right uppercut. And unleashing right uppercuts of the process. While he's doing it, he's punching. Yes. I mean, he's looking. Tyson started the 10th round positively, landing a few combinations as Holyfield looked to tie him up. But in the end of the round, things changed. Holyfield coming on. A right uppercut. Quick 
simply tying him up as he comes in. Straight left hand there by by Tyson, but a glancing look. Back comes Holyfield. Good jab of Holyfield. Good defensive move by Tyson. Ducks under the right hook by Holyfield. Tyson. And Evander has the reach. He should use it up there. The chance of Holyfield. Because of the cut. Ooh, a low blow by Holyfield. That was a low blow. He's no longer this aggressive animal. He's a little confused by what's going on. He may be working on sheer instinct right now. This crowd continues. He's going to need all the help he can get in there now. You know, as Mike comes rushing in, Evander ducks his head to not catch a shot with his head up in the air. And those heads are just banging. Beautiful. One into another. And he is not ready to fight the 12 real hard. It may be a reversal of fortune if Holyfield continues to have his way. Hey, well, no, it's gotten to the point where I'm not sure that that's not his fight. Because Evander, Evander is landing the harder punches. And Tyson is wearing himself, too. See, I've got him ahead by three. <laughs> Meaning that if he bought one every round, if you can only get a draw. That could have been dangerous. Holyfield. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Trouble. He saved by the bell. He continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. A straight right hand. The top is off the fight. Holyfield was the second man to ever defeat Tyson, an achievement that Paul himself also wants. Let's put into perspective that the year Jake Paul was a newborn, Tyson had faced Holyfield for a second time and had done this. In the first fight. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here. Jake Paul, on the other hand, was never a boxer growing up. He was the complete opposite, an actor on the Disney Channel and a YouTuber. Despite his millions of followers online, Paul sought new challenges outside the realm of social media. In 2018, he made his professional boxing debut in a highly publicized match against fellow YouTuber KSI's brother, Deji. However, it was Paul's matchup against former NBA star Nate Robinson in November 2020 that catapulted him to new heights of fame and notoriety. The fight, which took place on the undercard of Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. fight, and Mike even liked Jake back then. Yeah, the biggest ever. Ever. It's on pace to be the biggest fight ever. Yes, and we're involved. <laughs> we're involved, right? We're involved. All those big chefs, all the biggest athletes in the world, this is the biggest ever. The world was calling for Jake to fight a real fighter with prior experience. Tyron Woodley, who was a former UFC champion and pound-for-pound -pound fighter, stepped up to the challenge but unfortunately came up short. However, the rematch between them would leave him as a meme for all eternity and would show us that Jake can crack. What? The opening round had a lot of clinching as both were hesitant to throw, but action would eventually start. In the first fight, don't square up. Never stand in front of Woodley. We know Jake Paul can bang, weather it, and can he have an offense of his own? Watch the way to clip. Inside. Who stopped holding? Woodley Who did say it. Oh, you shouldn't give him nothing to tie him up with. Watch your head. Now we see Woodley clinching. Stop, 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 stop. Watch the back of the head. He's not really doing much beyond. Yeah, he's, a, he's gonna he's open gonna up your legs. Oh, oh my my hand. Hand. I think your leg where your legs are too wide, they're gonna be off balance, Barry. So Paul trying to wing shots I'm here. Red. Down low, put his elbows in and go to work, work the body. A lot of outside in punches oh, from nice combination from Paul, left to the head, right to the body. And finally Paul would be the third saw Woodley land some really good shots on Jake Paul, who also got cut and was starting to look a bit worried. Right hand from Paul, and the right hand of the body. Right hand Woodley, maybe the side of the back straight Paul up. Woodley now opening up on Paul. I was going to say those yeah. cuts bleed a lot. Yes. No, 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 and no, Woodley no, no, should no, take no, advantage no, no. of that. Maybe blinding him a little bit. Uppercut from Jake Paul. Back. Too slow on his feet. Like, like he's stuck on sand. You know, he's got to be faster, explosive with his feet. It's like if they don't start to breathe, that could be a factor in this fight. Definitely. Wild swing to Jake Paul. And the blood starts again from the no, forehead. No. Absolutely. 
Good inside. We're nice up there by Woodley, but that's one shot. That's it. He needs to get small. Little punches, punches and punches. Nice combination. Yeah. From Jake Paul and close. Good body shots. Boy, there is real danger of a oh. headbutt. Jake is forgetting about the no, jab. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Stuff like that is mentally messing up. Right. This was roughly when he started to get tired in the last fight. In the sixth round, however, the unbelievable had happened. Second half of the fight. Round five. Well, he started out with a couple of jabs. Oh. And that's it. Watch the back of the head. Pretty tough to watch, to be honest with you. Come on up. A couple of punches from Jake Paul. All those missed. Oh, that was a good oh. one. And, and that drops Woodley. And it from Jake Paul. A crushing right to the temple sent Woodley to the shadow realm once and for all. Oh, drop his jab hand. Boom. Boom. While these highlights are wonderful, it would be unfair to show a Mike Tyson fight from nearly 30 years ago. The most recent fight of his, which was at the age of 56, was the previously mentioned Roy Jones bout. And honestly, because of this fight, many believe Jake has no chance. We'll have to really be on the ball. Mike Tyson, see it. Go here, Roy. Mike Tyson with a cavalcade of first round knock. Get, it, get, it, get up in there, there Roy. Shit, in and out. 12 Never hours in there, Roy. Not the normal tattoo of my uncle's fighting at the barbecue. <laughs> get, get your uncle out of there. Get him out You can go meet me in the backyard. I'm tired of this shit. Ready a minute gone again. Just two minute rounds. Mike Tyson coming forward. Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> the referee says, get me first. I got to hold him. <laughs> he said he's bringing his hand. I got to hold him. Tyson seemed to pile up most of the early rounds, landing the cleaner punches and muscling Jones in the clinch. But is it, it, is, it, is it entertaining and exciting for the viewing public? And is that adrenaline? Oh, and there's an exchange. A great exchange from two What's What's the Put some Vaseline on that thing and keep it moving. And I love to be able to talk about it and be about it at the same time. Oh, and Jones avoids that punch. He's trying to deacon juke here. What Roy Jones is doing is really well, I feel like I'm, I'm back in my case as a pro wrestling announcer with some of this grappling, maybe oh, a little. Get back to I'm really impressed with Mike Smith. Oh, oh, right oh, into the yeah. body. Another yes. body that was shot. Was Jones wins in the only two minute rounds. Oh, get off there, Roy. Get off. It was apparent that Mike felt sympathy for Jones when he started cutting the power of his own punches as this was an exhibition fight, but this will not be the case in the Paul fight. Coming up on the oh, end point of round five and again. Oh, 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 there you go. There's way on you. When he has him on the oh, right 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 shot. Tyson. That was a shot. That was a shot. Oh, 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 Tyson picking off. This is a two grown man fight right here. This is how you have your oh, man. Tyson trolls. He's just got a left hook shot. Mike Tyson. Oh, and we're in round number six, scheduled for eight. In the, no surprise, the, the punch stats a uh, shell of what they were in their front. But Tyson, left hook just on the bell line. But he's smart enough to know that. If he doesn't, but if he doesn't throw punches oh. back. Him with the right hand at a distance. Yeah, right there, the dog, whenever he throws that in his case, like, like Snoop said, he has to put a little bit more body behind it. Beginning to fatigue, but still standing in there. Oh, and there's that right up. Right. Get out the way. Right Roy also is more elusive than the other big, bigger heavyweights right. that Tyson has faced. Yeah, he got way more footwork. But, but, exactly. But tuning in, hoping oh. to see a knockoff of this Roy Jones Jr. The final round saw both fighters try to slug it out once and for all, with the fight being officially a draw. Get off the Get off Roy! 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 Get off Ro
that many Great. of us here on Truth Great. Great. But this is the reason we're here tonight, Snoop Dogg. Oh! 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 These legends, wow! It was an exhibition, and Roy Jones Jr. trying to sum it up. Get him. Oh, and there's a double left hook by Tyson. But it's Tyson who appears to have those keys to victory. 40 seconds, and again, he's battering the body. Quit on his stool nearly three years after Roy Jones Jr. extended his win streak to four years. They are going to go the distance to the temper expectations. The exhibition is over. While Tyson didn't fight again after the Roy Jones fight, he was still in the gym training on the low key. Jake, on the other hand, had faced his first ever loss to Tommy Fury and won a decision victory against Nate Diaz. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for Jake. If he manages to somehow beat Mike Tyson, he will forever be remembered as one of the six men to have beat him. If Mike manages to knock him out, it will be living proof that age doesn't matter in a fight and that Tyson's power is just different. As the fight date draws near, both fighters retreat to their training camps, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for victory. Every punch thrown, every mile run, brings them one step closer to the moment of truth. The stage is set, the world is watching. Get ready for the fight of a lifetime.